guys and welcome back to our channel for this week's video i am on a time crunch <laughs> no pun intended because this week we're gonna be making taco bell's crunch wrap i told you guys before that we were gonna be doing a series of trying to replicate fast food popular menu items popular fast food menu items so it is 1 54 p.m and i have to go get ava so that gives me about 30 minutes a little bit less to make this crunch wrap with you guys. I've been wanting to do this for a minute now. I'm pretty sure I said it every video. There's just a lot of things I want to do, okay? So we're gonna get started on the Taco Bell crunch wrap. <laughs> okay, we are starting with a hot pan first because we're gonna cook up our beef. The only time I get a crunch wrap is for breakfast. Their breakfast steak crunch wraps are so freaking good. I looked on the menu and with these crunch wraps, you can do chicken, you could do bean, and you can do beef, which we're gonna do beef because everybody likes beef, so why not? The ingredients in this recipe are simple ingredients. Anything you'd put in a taco is pretty much what you're putting in it. So ground beef in the stove. And while that warms up, I'm gonna start another pan for the corn tortilla. I have to fry it up. In the States, it's easy to find fried corn tortillas ready to go with tostadas, pretty much. Here, I cannot find them anywhere, and I'm lucky enough to even find corn tortillas to begin with. I'm just gonna heat up some oil and fry a corn tortilla. Okay, the meat is cooked. I'm gonna add the taco seasoning. This is from Tesco. I've never used their brand of seasoning before. I'm gonna do the whole packet and let this cook just a little bit longer. I'm gonna add a corn tortilla to the pan that has the oil in it and fry this up. I'm gonna pour all of the meat into a bowl so I can use this pan. And the corn tortilla is done as well. Oh yeah, that's good. I got my flour tortilla. I'm gonna warm this up a little bit. That way it's easier to bend the way we want it to. That way it don't tear. And I just like to do this really quick with my tortillas. It just warms them up really fast. So we have our tortilla and this goes first. And then next is cheese. And I bought the jarred queso. This is the queso I'm gonna be using. And it goes first. So I'm gonna do like a dab of queso. I don't like a lot of cheese. It's plenty, actually. And then next was the beef. Next is your corn tortilla shell. I'm gonna break it a little bit so it fits better. <laughs> sour cream, but I'm gonna do crema. I'm not a big fan of sour cream, and I can manage a little bit of this on my food. Just not a lot. That's good. Okay, next is lettuce. I cut it up last night. And tomato. I'm not a big fan of tomatoes, but for the sake of the video, I think that's plenty of tomatoes. <laughs> okay, so I just watched a video on how to wrap this. Let's hope this doesn't break. So you pretty much fold it this way, and then you fold it, oh no, this way, and <laughs> this way, what? The corn tortilla is a little too big, I think. Honestly, if we can get it to stay, you'll be fine. I'm gonna toss it into the pan just like this, but I'm gonna do it upside down, so like this. That way this side fries first. I'm using the same pan because it has a little bit of that grease in there. So I'm gonna toss it in there like this. There is that little hole, but it'll be fine. And we're gonna let that fry up a little bit on the side and we'll flip it over. Jose is back to fasting again this week for five days. He plans on it for five days. So I won't be cooking for him and he won't be trying this crunch wrap. This will be me and the kids at dinner. The cool thing with cooking, I've said this many times, you can make it your own. I'm showing you guys how they make it at Taco Bell. Obviously they have like different ingredients for the beef. They have different kinds of cheese. You get to make it your own when you're cooking. Okay, we're gonna give it a flip. Honestly, it's not even that bad. It really isn't. It's showing a little tomato, but it looks cute. And I got the fold of it down. I just need a bigger tortilla. 
What you could do too is put the corn tortilla on last. That way it's still covered on the outside and all the ingredients are on the inside. So I think that's what I'll do for the kids later on. It's gonna taste the same. It all goes down the same place anyways. All right, y'all, my crunch wrap is ready. I don't know how much you're spending driving to Taco Bell and buying it and driving back, but you could literally make it at home. Way cheaper. But I also have the Taco Bell hot sauce. <laughs> we got this at the commissary. So hot is my favorite. I cannot stand mild or any other ones. This is my version of the crunch wrap. It's a little open. Like I said, if you put the corn tortilla on the outside, I'm sure it'll be fine. For using a wrap, tortilla wrap, I think it came out fine. Okay, let's give it a go. Hot sauce. Guys, wow. Mm. This is delicious. <laughs> this is good. It may not look the best, but that is good. And like I said, you can change up the ingredients. You can do chicken, you can do beans, do steak. But this right here, you guys, so freaking delicious. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, easily. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna be making these a lot more. However order it fits in there, but definitely gonna be doing these again. And I suggest you guys trying these, absolutely trying these. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. It's not too in depth, it was something easy. Like it wasn't too crazy to make this. If you have any more fast food suggestions, drop them down in the comments below. I'm gonna space them out a little bit. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to do my best at eating better because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is the heaviest I've ever been in my life. Kid you not, this is the heaviest I've ever been. So I will be continuing this food series, but spacing it out a little bit. Like I said, if you do have suggestions, drop them down below. I keep getting positive feedback about our vlog, so we'll continue that as well. But we appreciate you guys still supporting us, even through the time differences. I know posting at 11 o'clock my time is like 4 o'clock for you guys, so you're just getting off of work or school. And I appreciate you guys coming through and showing us support. With that being said, we hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next week's video! Bye! How is it, Zeke? You like it? <laughs> Me? Mm. Temperature hot? Spicy? What? Mm. Mm. Mom, it's good. Mm. You like it? <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a chocolate. Mm. And a burger. <laughs> that tastes like yogurt. <laughs> I like yogurt. Zeke, you said what? <laughs>